How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, uh, this is a story that came out um, the other day. Uh, it's in the whole live as you can see from the uh, title of the video. It's about her HMP Humber uh, prison guard left in a pool of blood after being slashed in her face with a cup. Now with these stories, first things first, I always take it with a pinch of salt. Um, they've got... Um, it's known that they overstate the injuries and like exaggerate about the state of the injuries. Um, compensation claims and they just tried to make it sound a lot worse. I remember reading one story and they, they made out that it was the most... The, the prison officer was having uh, seen a psychiatrist and having counselling um, and he was scared to return to work, right? Which to me was just trying to add to the compensation claim. Uh, the reality was it being it was a section 47 assault you know what I mean um, so right so the male guard was reportedly attacked on Friday morning at HMP Humber a whole prison guard was reportedly slashed in the face with a cup in a violent attack at an East Yorkshire prison the male guard was left in a pool of blood by a prisoner who attacked him inside HMP Humber at about 11 a.m. on Friday morning the guard was left with wounds to his neck and face and was later taken to Hull Royal Infirmary for his injuries. It comes just weeks after the riot um, on Christmas Day at uh, the jail last year. A guard who witnessed the attack said, It's just horrendous. We're all close to walking out. The place is in absolute chaos. There's no discipline or control here. These prisoners are doing whatever they want, when they want. Only last week a prison guard, a young female, had a five litre pot of paint thrown over her head, then knocked out. The guard claimed the powers that be were not paying attention and the concerns raised by prison guards about the state of the prison. The same guard says common, uh, sorry, sorry, the same guard says assaults are common inside the jail and he's forcing guards to rethink their career choices. He said the guard was left bleeding after they were attacked by a prisoner with a cup. When you witness these incidents, you want to just quit, he said. The attack on Friday morning was just awful, awful. The guard needed oxygen. He was losing so much blood. Humberside Police said they were aware of the attack which has been reported to them. A four spokesman said we can confirm we were called out today at 11am to report of an assault inside HMP Humber. We are currently supporting the Ministry of Justice in their inquiries. A uh, prison service spokesman for the Ministry of Justice said we don't tolerate violence against our hard working officers uh, and our new assaults on Emergency Workers Act means that those who carry out attacks can expect an additional 12 months behind bars. Uh, right, the first things first, right, they, they say that... Um, What's he say? The guard claimed the powers were raised by guards. The same guard. He said the, the same guard say salts are common inside the jail. Right. Well, right. I've just got to put it out there. When you jo when you go for a job as a prison officer, right? What do you think your job entails? Do you honestly believe that if you join the prison service, which is housing? mentally ill susceptible like violent offenders not all of them violent obviously but like prisoners that before they've ever been offenders they've first been victims and that are violent hardened criminals that are treated a certain way and have to live in appalling conditions with harsh regimes um like i say do you honestly believe this prisoner just thinks i'm going to smash a cup in a prison officer's face now most cups in prison are plastic um you do get Prison, prisoners do end up with staff cups eventually they they just manage to get all of them out of the like the office where the screws are where they make the brews and stuff i had one personally on my last um my last sentence just a just a porcelain cup sort of thing you know what i mean um but what i'm saying to you this prisoner hasn't just thought i want to go and sm dash this cup in that prison officer's face why has he targeted this officer has he done it because just for no reason or do you believe there's a reason behind it do you believe that this prisoner might have held a grudge because this prison officer spoke to him a certain way or twisted him up um like i say attacks do happen on officers for no reason which can attribute to be anger stress frustration mental health um but when attack like this go like there's normally a reason behind it guys prison officers are targeted for a reason uh, i don't condone attacks on officers i've got to be sensible and i've got to be careful what i say because obviously um journalists watch this and like i'm trying to volunteer now and stuff like that so i've got to be more practical but what i'm saying it, violence comes with the territory of the job you can't go swimming and not expect to get wet um but again i don't condone attacks on officers
but I understand why they happen. Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Short, to the point. You know what I think. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.